Hi little skeletons, this is Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So buckle up guys, this one might actually be a longer Chatting Skeletons episode than you guys are actually used to. I have two YouTube accounts. I have Cute Baby Boo and I have Disney Queen Skelly. Disney Queen Skelly I tend to film more on while Cute Baby Boo I watch everything on. So I thought I would like to share with you guys who I watch on YouTube which I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for, but you know what, that's okay. So I watch anywhere from gaming channels to drama channels to mukbang channels to ASMR channels to scary channels, what have you. And I have a ton of them here that I guess I'm just going to go through and we'll talk about them one by one. So yeah, buckle up, it's gonna be a long one. The first person I'd like to talk about is Nexpo. Nexpo is a scary YouTube channel who delves into like different conspiracy theories and delves into like the weirder parts of the internet, which I like, I find really cool. It saves me from doing it myself and you know, whatever happens to them happens to them. Uh, Drama Alert is a channel run by Keemstar, um, who I think is kind of getting hate right now. I don't know. I don't really follow all that, but uh, I know he reviews uh, YouTubers who go through drama and what the drama is and all of that and... You know, it, I just recently found him, so it's been an interesting ride. The next person I watch is Stephanie Sue. She is a mukbanger who talks about true crime events. Um, she doesn't, she covers a lot of them, but there are occasions where she can't cover some true crimes that she would love to talk about, and it's only because YouTube would demonetize her. So she has a, a podcast called Rotten Mangoes that delves into that. So this guy literally has like five channels and I'm subscribed to all five of them and you guys know him, I bought a cameo from him. Uh, I watch more Nick Akato, and that's Nick Akato Avocado's daily posting channel. I was subbed to him a while ago, way back when, and I stopped following him because his drama just got too much for me. So I started following him back because I was watching a lot of like drama channels about him and it seemed like his life was really going downhill and I just kind of wanted to see the downhill progress. It's just entertaining and I kind of, I watch him and I kind of look at it and I look at his videos and I'm thinking, well, at least I could be worse. And the next person I watch is Markiplier. He is a gaming channel. You guys probably know Markiplier. I don't need to say much about him. He's a really good, really cool person. I've been watching him for years. The next person I'm subscribed to is James Marriott. He is a funny asshole British guy who just reviews almost anything and everything on YouTube and you know it's he's just really funny. The next person I watch is Sass ASMR. She is an eating um, ASMR channel. She's the first ever eating ASMR channel I actually found. I love her content. Uh, next person I watch is Def Noodles. He is a again another internet commentator who views whatever's going on on the internet that's relevant and just comments about it. He's sarcastic about it though, which is pretty funny. Uh, Good Mythical Morning, I've been watching them for God knows how many years. It's a duo, Rhett and Link. Uh, they do whatever and when, like whatever the hell they want on their channel and it's nine times out of ten always entertaining. I have never found a video I actually hated. Uh, more Nick Akato 3, or Nick Akato Avocado 3, that's Nick Akato Avocado's third channel that he posts on every so often. He's a mukbanger, just you know, he talks about his life or he just reviews the food he eats. Swell ASMR, she is a food ASMR channel. Cynical Reviews, he reviews movies and kind of gives his opinion about them. I've only ever seen one video where he actually spoke good about a movie, but, you know, I also haven't watched much yet. Nikocado Avocado is Nikocado Avocado's main channel. Uh, I don't know how often he posts there. I think like once a month or something and he just, again, eats food and tells us about his life or just reviews the food. The Right Opinion, he kind of does like internet re like he does internet research and he'll talk about like one topic and kind of delve into like the whole history of that one topic and he goes so far into it and does so far research that like I feel like if I were to f try and find what he found I'd just be stuck in a dead end at the internet uh Mr. Creepypasta obviously obviously tells scary stories creepypasta stories um any ASMR is another food ASMR channel Cinema Sins he watches movies and finds all of the flaws and nitpicky things about movies Uncle Herman does another um, internet commentary channel. He's not, he's only, he's very recently just started, you know, coming to YouTube and he's already pretty popular, but he does internet commentary. 
Mr. Gigi does like reviews on movies, on shorts, on stuff on the internet. Uh, a lot, I'd like a lot of internet reviewers. Orlin Holm is Nick Okado Avocado's ex-husband, husband, ex-boyfriend, boyfriend, whatever the hell they are. He eats usually Nick's leftovers and talks about how much he hates him. Moon ASMR is another eating ASMR channel. I'm Brandon Ferris is this really funny guy I found through iFunny. He ate like all the spiders and the scorpions and that's kind of how I found him and I think he's funny. He's a really good comedian. His videos are usually anywhere from like three to four minutes long. Sometimes he does like longer videos where he does like the openings and stuff or sometimes he'll you know, post like leftovers, which end up being longer videos too. Elvis the Alien reviews movies, and he's really, really good at it. I love him. Uh, Trisha Paytas and Blonde Sunny Doll 4MJ, they're both Trisha Paytas channels. Um, again, I just watch them for the drama. It's really, really freaking entertaining. The next person I watch is a guy called Nick Crowley. He also does like, he does a lot of scary stuff, uh, some true crime stuff, but just Anything scary, this guy does his research, and usually it's about, like, true things. Cinnamon Toast Ken, I don't remember who you are. Oh, yeah. It's these two guys who just, like, watch anything and everything and then just comment on it. They, they just do commentary stuff. Zach Choi ASMR is another eating ASMR channel. Harley Baby 45 is my best friend, so obviously I have to sub to her. You guys have seen her description a lot. Well, you've seen her account in my description a lot. Not only that, but you guys have seen her on this channel. Top ASMR Rachel is another eating ASMR. CZ's World is um, a guy who reviews horror movies and reviews horror movies and does like things you missed or horror history. Disney Queen Skelly is myself. Yes, I'm subscribed to myself. Sue me. What culture does like top nine these? They do top whatever lists, mostly about horror movies, which is why they made another channel, which I'll hopefully be covering in here. Uh, Noodle King is another Nikocado Avocado channel where he just eats ramen noodles. Watch Mojo does again top lists, uh, like top five this or top twenty this. Rapid Trailers, obviously a YouTube channel that just produces movie trailers. Hit Start uh, does like it, 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 he tackles like horror movies, which is interesting. Like he's new, and he's done a lot of good stuff, but you know he's just starting out. I don't know if he knows what he's doing yet. Hungry Cakes, another eating ASMR channel. Nick Okado Avocado 2 is Nick Okado Avocado's second channel. Again, he's just a mukbanger. Uh, Spill Sesh does, like, a lot of tea. They spill the tea on a lot of YouTubers, on a lot of, like, TikTokers, whatever. They just they just do a lot of, like, you know, commentary. ASMR Fan is another um, ASMR eating channel. Jared Haley does, like, singing. He's He does, like, acapella, a lot of acapella stuff. Christopher Tom does stuff on, like, internet reviews things makes videos about them i don't know it <laughs> i i only ever watched one video from him that was it daniel thrasher does like these really funny ass piano videos one of my favorite is when you accidentally write songs that already exist it go check that video out it's hilarious hoodoo hoodlums revenge um he talks about scary stuff too a lot of scary stuff atazi does internet reviews he's a commentator Eat with Bookie, she's another eating ASMR channel. Miss Mango Butt is Stephanie Sue's vlogging channel. She has a lot of funny stuff there. Your Wet Sock does some internet commentary as well. Walk Culture Horror is What Culture's um, horror specific channel. So they make commentary on like horror movies and they do like top lists or whatever. The Muppets is just like a Muppet YouTube channel. Um, it has like the, pup the Muppets on there and they do random stuff every so often. Danny Marie Daly is a girl I actually connected with on Twitter, and she does a lot of mom stuff. She does working out, she does hauls. It's really interesting. Cass Vantipol, he's known for those little shorts like the Lion King recap, Lilo and Stitch recap. Creepstick Pasta is another creepy pasta channel. Um, Disney has a YouTube channel, so obviously I'm subscribed to the Disney YouTube channel. Uh, channel Pup does like media like movies and games and he talks about them uh dead meat does the kill counts and he interviews people on like their favorite movies and stuff he does like a podcast with his girlfriend i'm alex is a friend of james marriott he does internet commentary as well uh netflix has their own youtube channel so i just decided to subscribe to it uh jacksepticeye is another gamer youtuber much like markiplier Gabriel Iglesias, he's a comedian. Uh, he was my first ever stand-up comedian that I ever watched, so I subscribed to his YouTube channel. Bad Lip Reading, they take 
clips of movies, TV shows, debates, and they do a, they mute it and they do their own lip reading over it. Crunchy ASMR is another uh, eating ASMR channel. Cinema wins are, it's like cinema sins but the exact opposite. They find the good in movies. How it should have ended. I mean, they do like movies and like they rewrite the ending. Just a Disney fan. Um, they don't really have anything posted. I think I just subscribed to them because they subscribed to me. Lucid Chart would do like um, internet names for snakes, internet names for ferrets, stuff like that. TLC, I don't even remember why I subscribed to TLC. I think I just found their stuff entertaining when I was younger, so I subscribed to them. Uh, Black Griffin, he... Why did I subscribe to you? You know, I'm looking at most of these, and I'm wondering why I subscribe to the people that I subscribe to, and from what it looks like, I don't even watch this guy. It looks like he just posts whatever the hell. Uh, Lena Slime, she makes her own slime colors by destroying makeup and putting them into slime. Uh, okay, so this one is YFM, uh, your favorite Martian, but it's titled This Project is Retired. Uh, their subscriber count is gone, and it's just because they are not posting on it anymore, but I'm still subscribed because I want to watch their videos back every so often. Cowbelly Studios is one that they just read memes off of the internet in this robotic voice. TV Sins is uh, a company with Cinema Sins. They just take TV shows, episodes, and make sins about it. Story Corps or StoryCorps does, like, they take people's stories about their relatives or someone they know and they animate it. NATO is another eating mukbang channel. TPM Vids does a lot of videos on, like, Universal and Disney and all of that, and they, um, they talk about, like, the theme parks and all that. Sunny, I think it's just someone I had to subscribe to because they subscribe to me. NATO ASMR is NATO's eating uh, ASMR channel. E-Boys is James Marriott's channel that he does with all of his friends. They just do internet commentary. Brock Baker does like the Brock's dubs, which are pretty funny. I like watching those. One of the things he's really known for is Goofy Wants His Money. That one's hilarious. Uh, Weird Al Yankovic. I like his parody songs. He does a lot of parody songs. Pez does, um, Pez does the animation things. Uh, you've probably seen a few of them. Just look him up. Mini Eats is another AS eating ASMR channel. Scarab Interactive is actually an old friend of mine that I subscribed to back when I actually started my channel. And he has not posted in years, and he just changed his name. He did this weird, like, live where it was called testing, so I don't know if he's trying to test out new equipment, if he's going to come back. He used to be a gaming channel. I guest starred on a couple of episodes. Uh, I don't know. And all those are gone. There's only four episodes up, so I, I don't know what's going on with him. The Game Theorists, they do game theories. Billing Ball's another stand-up comedian that I love. Uh, Wan C Entertainment does animated horror stories. How to Drink makes drinks from movies, TV shows, or his own thing. Zoe ASMR is another eating channel, an uh, eating ASMR channel. Uh, Strange Mysteries does an another type of scary stuff. Uh, YouTube Movies, that's just the movie channel that you can rent movies off of. All Time Tens are top ten lists. Nom Nom Sammy Boy is another eating ASMR channel. Uh, miniature Space does like miniature cooking, which is really cute. Eyewitness Official Channel. I used to watch these things in elementary school called Eyewitness. It was like the nature stuff or like the space stuff that you would watch like in school. Jeff Dunham's a uh, ventriloquist uh, comedian that I love watching. Um, Welcome to Night Vale. They're a podcast channel. Uh, they, they, it's like a podcast on a fake town. Uh, Bleakest is someone I actually met on, uh, an app called Spoon. He's, he does a lot of YouTube stuff too. He's, I don't know if he does some specific things, but it looks like he just has a couple of things up, so. Veronica Wang's a mukbanger. She's been in a lot of controversy. Discovery UK is Discovery Channel's United Kingdom, uh, channel. Tyler Sheed is friends with Markiplier. He does gaming too. Old classic cartoons, they just upload older cartoons that were around before we were all even born. Bianca Varner is a friend of mine uh, that I knew in high school. She sings and she's very, very good at it, though she doesn't post as often as she used to, which kind of bums me out, so go check her out. She's a really good singer. She has, I think, oh, her subscriber count's not on here. Okay. The Magnifical is just a guy who does gaming with his girlfriend. I subscribed to him because he subscribed to me. Um, Brandon Rogers does those really offensive YouTube videos. They're actually pretty funny. Sc 
Green Junkies does Honest Trailers. That's what they're known for. Mike Catch uh, seems to be another person I just subbed to because they subbed to me. Kitchen Nightmares, it's a TV show. Uh, Gordon Ramsay hosts it. You know, he goes around from kitchen to kitchen to kitchen, kind of uh, like restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. And he's like, you guys suck, and I'm going to make you better if you accept it. Hero Zeros is a friend of mine I used to have in high school, and I just subscribed to him to support his channel because he did the same for me. I think same with Nightmare Mania 1031, just sub to each other because we could. Uh, UK Loves Disney Lyrics does, like, Disney. They take songs and they write lyrics to them. Dad How Do I is a channel I found off of iFunny. There's this dad who just uh, teaches you how to do things because his father was never there for the, him, so he wants to be there for other people. Ship, I believe, does stop motion, which is really cool. I love stop motion. Uh, Cowbelly is uh, this... The main channel, I think, to that cow belly, whatever I said earlier, he just reads memes in this really robotic voice. Heavy Spoilers does spoilers on, like, games, t movies, TV shows. Uh, Jess Brooks 2 just seems to be someone I subscribe to because they subscribe to me. Fast Pass Facts focus on a lot of Disney stuff, like Disneyland shit. Tall Tannic does lists, like, top five, top ten, top whatever. Andy Grammer is a really good singer that I love. Creepypasta Junior is another creepypasta site where they just read scary stories. Mikey Boltz does a lot of comedic stuff. He's known for his songs where he does, like, voices. Um, he's known for doing, like, Stewie and Peter and P Hank Hill and Peter Griffin. Gildies does stop motion. He's really good, too. I freaking love Gildies stop motion. Go with Dennis, I believe, is, uh, Dennis is, uh, Def Noodle's, uh, vlog channel. Clancy Pasta is, uh, another creepypasta channel. Feast of Fiction makes food from... Um, movies and TV shows. Bebop seems to be another um, uh, stop motion channel. Steve Terraberry does commentary on music. Uh, my uh, hubby showed him to me. Thomas Eight April does this does these like quizzes that are really cool. They're kind of like mental trips. Twisted is a food channel that I watch. They just make food in front of a camera and it's really satisfying. Obviously, Lucas the Spider. I love Lucas, but he hasn't posted in, like, seven months. I'm so sad. I think... I don't know what's going on anymore. I have a Lucas plushie. He's this really cute little spider that went really far really quickly. So if you have the chance, look him up. Snarl does animated horror stuff. Hong Yu ASMR is another uh, eating ASMR channel. Jeremy Lochner, he's a friend of mine. He does movie commentary. He reviews movies. He's really good at it. Go check him out. Uh, Spacey seems to be another person I subscribe to just because they subscribe to me. Babbletop, um, does, like, comparisons, like, top 10 this, top 10 that. Amazok, uh, is another, I believe, another stop motion. Yes, they are, they are stop motion. Um, LS Chip is just someone I subscribe to because they subscribe to me. Blair St. Clair is a favorite drag queen of mine that I watched off of RuPaul, and she's also a really good singer, you should check her out. Tasty is another food YouTube channel that they just film people making food and it's really satisfying. Uh, Richard Scott's just seem to be someone I subscribe to because they subscribe to me. Milani ASMR is another eating ASMR channel. Real Stories does like documentaries and stuff. The Cabinar is actually a friend of mine. His name is his name is Braxton and he has a YouTube channel. He hasn't posted anything, but you should go subscribe to him because I'm pretty sure he's going to probably start posting stuff soon. He said he wanted to. SoCal Attractions 360 does, like, POV rides uh, at theme parks. Serial killer documentaries, I mean, that should pretty be self-explanatory. Explosivism Entertainment does the happiness, Cyanide and Happiness shorts, which are hilarious. Uh, Binging with Babish, he makes, he does cooking, and he also does, like, food from TV shows and movies. And last but not least, Franken Food does uh, stop motion stuff as well. And that is literally every single person I am subscribed to on YouTube as of now. Uh, that is probably going to change much later in the future. But until then, that is, uh, again, I am so sorry about how lengthy this one was. If you guys wanted to subscribe to any of these people for yourself, please do so. Battle Skeletons, stay safe. Love you guys.